Hey guys, Willie James here from Dreamhouse Music and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to fatten major chords with the simple trick. Yes, fatten. Make them lush and nice. With the simple trick, I've done this in other videos but I just want to, you know, break this down um, in case you didn't get to watch all the tutorials or anything like that. Now, before we get into it, uh, I'm going to um, ask you to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, if you're new to gospel piano, you want to learn how to play the piano as a beginner or intermediate, then this is the channel for you. Also, share with your community. Okay, so I'm going to use the song No Weapon by Fred Hammond. It's in B flat, one of my favorite songs. And I'm going to take the basic uh, walk down chords and show you how I fatten them up. Okay, here we go. So let's do the basic though first, all right? So No Weapons, it's in B flat. Always know your scale. Always know the diatonic chords. I say this in all my videos. Going up the scale, diatonic chords. That's where all the lush melodies, riffs, and chords come from. If you don't know those, click the link below for all the resources in the description. Okay? So, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Right? It won't work so forth i'm just focusing on the beginning right i'm not going to do the whole song as, as a tutorial here um so that was the basics right you're just walking down that's a one chord basic right this is just a five chord with this three three on the bottom right the five chord is f you got the a on the bottom no weapon form against me that's a six chord g minor shell that's an f major that's a five chord prosper that's a basic e flat major chord and then it goes down to the B flat over D, right? It won't work. That's the E flat over C or C minor seven. And then, or E flat over F, which I call the four over five chord, or you could call it an F nine sus so four. Okay, so how, what's the simple trick? How do we make that sound a little bit more lush and fat? Here we go. So we're gonna use major seventh chords, okay? That's the simple trick, major seventh chords. So the first chord, instead of this, we're going to do this. Okay, now what's that? It's just simply the uh, B flat major seventh. Okay, B flat major seventh. We say major seventh because the A is seven steps away from B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So B flat major seventh. Okay, and we do this voicing. I have the one here and the seventh in my left hand with my thumb like so. And then I take my right hand putting my thumb on the D, the 7 again, I'm repeating here with my middle finger, and I'm repeating the 3 again up here. So I went from here to this, which is just more open. And if you look carefully, the distance between all the notes is really open, right? This is a more closed. You see all the notes are in this area here. Now I have to open up the chord uh, to give it more space, right? So, no weapon right different quality but it works okay so that's using the major seventh no weapon. now for the seven chord which means the bass is a instead of just the basic F we're gonna do this chord okay now this is basically you could say it's a C chord over a or a major uh, a minor seven sorry a minor seven so we went from no weapon for Okay, so A minor 7th is this, right? But we took the uh, the 1 and the 7th and put it on the bottom. We got rid of the E, and then we just repeated the C up here. All right, so we have no weapon in context. Formed, right? Okay, and then against me. Okay, what's this chord? Um... The basic was uh, G minor, right? But instead, we're gonna do like a. Uh, it's it's really a E flat chord over the six, which is G. So E flat, which is a four chord in B flat major, over the six. But we're gonna voice it a little differently. We're gonna first of all add the uh, what's called the add to or suspended to in the context of E flat. That is F, okay? This chord is E flat, E flat major scale, F is two, okay? So we're gonna play like this. But I'm gonna play it more open, 
right? So I'm gonna I'm going to uh, play the E flat and the F with my left hand. So G on the bottom, E flat, F, and then I'm going to do B flat, uh, F, and B flat, right? In context, no weapon form against me, like so. Okay, and for the five chord, we're going to do this. Sounds kind of weird and off, but I like it. Okay, remember this was just a basic F. What is this? This is just an F major seven. F major seven. We took the um, the one and the seventh on the bottom, and then we kept the three, repeated seventh, repeated the three. Okay, very open sounding in context. No weapon for the against me. Shall right? Press, press, press. So you see that it's a recurring pattern. We're using seventh chords, either major seventh or minor seventh. Okay, remember this was just a basic E flat at the beginning that I showed. We're using an E flat major seventh here. We're taking the one and the seventh, putting on the bottom. We're taking the three, the major seventh, which is D, and repeating the three again. Remember, this is the chord. This is the voicing that we're using, nice and open. Okay, in context again. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Right, then I do this chord, which is just a B flat sus2 over D. A B flat major, sus2 over 3. Okay, if you know your B flat major scale, you know that C is 2. This is regular B flat, B flat D F sus two is your use dropping the three to the two, which is C, and then our bass is D. However, I'm voicing it like this: D on the bottom, B flat here, and then I'm doing an F here, which is the five. In B flat, I'm doing the C and the F. You notice the shapes are very similar, very open up top, like an octave, with the five in the middle. Okay. Let's do it in context. I, I lost it again. So, no weapon form against me shall prosper. Right? Or, and then, it won't work. Okay, this is not a tutorial for the song, but just to show you how to. Um, you know, take some basic chords and just make them nice with seventh chords. Okay, so let's review again and and talk about what I forgot to mention, which is the thrill. Okay, the trill really gives a nice. It's simple, but it gives a nice uh, flavor or color. So instead of just playing the chord, you trill from either the the. So we're gonna trill on the the seventh chord, right? The seventh of the chord. So B flat major. I'm trilling on the A. To really exploit that that note, all right, because that's the note that gives color to the chord. That seventh, right? So, so I'm actuating, actuating, accenting with that trill, right? Okay. So I control from the A flat or the G. If you're a beginner, it's really slow, right? Or the from the G, whichever quality you want, and then fast is da da, right? So no, fine. I'm gonna do it all for all the chords, right? Going down. That is fun. I'm even doing it in my in my left hand too. No weapon that's fun, right against me. My child whisper. Or. Right? That was da, 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 da. I'm playing on this from the sus to a semitone higher down to that one. Right? That's the chord, but I'm just doing an action. If you're a beginner, slow. Do, 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 do. Do. Sometimes you have to practice just by itself. Right? And then the rest of the chord. Right? Oh, that's a different one. I've done this in other uh, videos as well. Um, so on the one here, let's go back up here. 
you could do depending on you know the song the melody but you do like a, a, a play from the seventh to the sixth okay so if B flat is the one uh, G is six uh, a is seven right so so you go with seven flat six six or seven sharp five six whichever way you want to look at it so and I'm doing it with both hands da, 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 no weapon. right a little weird um, right I can do a true like that too no You can go all the way down, switch it up. Even on the five, you could do from the seven. Like it's the same thing. The seven flat six six. If we're in the context of F, right? We're on the F chord. E is seven, D is six. So the play is this. Okay. Okay. Let's play through. Alright, this was a quick short tutorial. Uh, drop a comment below. Let me know if this helped. Uh, try to do it in other keys, right? Take the concept and explore it with different songs that you like. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Peace. Want to learn how to play even more gospel chords without theory overwhelm? Simply download the top seven beginner gospel chords PDF by clicking the link in the description. You'll learn about the top seven must-know gospel chords and how to use them in gospel songs you already know. Again, to get access, hit that link below and I'll see you on the inside.